So, apparently Sam or Late Ghost did not like the prank that we did on him in the last video. Yeah, he thought it was uninteresting. Okay, uh, the observer thing. Yeah, I have to agree. The observer thing was not very, uh, no, interesting. But the build itself was the prank, and I decided to go with the snow golem because his area was looking a little bit empty. You know what I mean? It's not the size that matters, but then again, my base is pretty big, and compared to Sam's one, so yeah. So I decided to add a little bit something in his base uh, to fill up the void. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he thought my prank was not good enough and not only that, he decided to retaliate by adding, as you can hear, he decided to add a lot of these all throughout my base. I don't know, I forgot to count how many were there. And this is what he did, he added an observer clock and connected them to bells and which created noise so he decided that i should receive alarms for my base well sam yeah gg it was good but yet at the end of the day you still relied on the observer prank so since you asked for it i am going to take it up a notch for you for the next retaliation i hope you're ready have decided that I am gonna give him a pet a pet that he has not yet seen in this new update so yeah let's see how it goes and let me let me quickly remove this thing all right so with this taken care of let's see how we can give some back a gift for this retaliation well I have done the setting or the setup for the prank a little bit already I have prepared myself I'm gonna need a lot of totems because I think like uh, I'm gonna die in the process of setting up the prank myself uh, I have also taken some speed potions or swiftness potions which I also think I'm gonna need and yeah I have also connected some structures by the nether so let's see how it goes uh, first off, uh, I don't want to lose my gears or anything, so I'm going to leave my netherite gear back in my house. I'm going to carry the elytra though because I need that to travel. But I think I'm going to take um, maybe a, a backup diamond armor. That would be great. Just in case. So let me leave my diamond uh, netherite gear back here. And yeah, I think I have a spare diamond gear over here. Yep. So I'm wearing the Elytra so I cannot wear that. And yep. So let's go to the nether then. By the way, I'm using uh, a data pack or mod I believe uh, that allows me to brighten up things because in the nether as well as uh, in the caves without Optifine it is very dark and it does not I mean look good for the video so I decided to add that mod and I can turn it off and on and off so yeah I mean it looks if the nether looks a little bit weird it's because of that so as you can see in the nether uh, we have quite a few things going. We have the bartering farm over there, our gold farm over there, and this is my nether portal. Uh, yeah, it's a replica of the one that I've made in the overworld. But over here, I have constructed a temporary portal for Sam's area, or late coast area. And you can see there's a little bit of a glass, uh, you know, railing, uh, or kind of like a way to draw or lure something. And by something, I mean something pretty dangerous. 
and that's going to be late ghost bed and over here i have set up another portal with another you know observer clock attached to a piston and for those who follow minecraft you know what i'm about to do already so this portal is linked to a deep dark biome and ancient city as well so so this is what i've set up and if you want to take a look right below us is an ancient city and i have uh, set up a, a temporary nether portal over here as well which is connected to the nether roof and right over there in that direction let me turn off the block sounds a little bit yeah that should be fine i guess so right over there straight up ahead there is a shrieker that's a naturally occurring shrieker and my idea is that i am i'm going to trigger that shrieker and spawn a warden and going to lure the warden through this uh through this area but before that i have to uh name the warden okay so i'll take a totem in my hot bar my food okay let's go let's do this That was rough. Uh, it was rough to get a warden into Sam's base, but I hope you can hear from it. Uh, you could tell from its heartbeat that I have managed to actually confine a warden in Sam's base. It's somewhere hidden. Uh, I did not let it loose because it might otherwise track uh, nearby mobs and wander around. And also, it will make a little bit difficult for Sam if it's like open in the. Uh, like you know, roaming freely so i decided to confine it uh, somewhere around his base and there is a little bit more uh you know frank involved i mean i thought a little bit of music for sam would be helpful as well i mean since he has got a new pet it calls for celebration right so yeah um that takes care of the you know uh, the prank I wanted to add elder guardians as well mm, that was in my plan but after two failed attempts of capturing elder guardian they always die when I try to you know send them through the portal and they take a lot of damage and they and the nearest monuments are a lot far away from 
from the area. So yeah, I tried twice and failed, but yeah, I think uh, he'll be pretty happy with the warden only. So that would conclude my video for today. And I, Sam, I hope you like it. And uh, to all the viewers, this will be the probably the last video from the server uh, because I will uh, discontinue on this server. And just wanted to let you guys know this will be the end of uh, DMC SMP. Uh, it was short, but it was uh, you know worth it because I built a lot of things over here um, while it lasted. Uh, would have been happier if the others, uh, other members played as regularly as I did, but yeah, it is what it is. So uh, that's it. Um, I will kind of like sign out of DMC SMP right now. So yeah, just flying over everything one last time and the spawn area. And everything that I have built around here it would be I mean it would be there in one of my most uh, favorite builds along with season 3 of for the lore as well as the season 1 I have accomplished a lot of things uh, I mean in terms of buildings and maybe a little bit of farms as well so yeah if I had time and if the server members were active I would probably have transformed the this entire plains area so yeah I had plans but well I think that's where we will leave it so thank you for watching if, if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and check out Sam's perspective I hope he We'll have a good time. Until next time, take care and 